Step 1. Onboard vCenter to vSphere Plus. In this video, the VI admin will be onboarding vCenter to vSphere Plus service. Let's log in first as the VI admin into the vCenter that we want to onboard to vSphere Plus. We can see that this vCenter is managing one data center with two clusters a traditional management cluster and a workload cluster that is configured as a Tenzu supervisor cluster. We'll now log in into the VMware Cloud service also as the VI admin persona. Once we are logged in, we can see the name of our organization in the top right corner. The CCI TMM org is currently entitled to the vSphere Plus service, which provides the flexibility to manage and operate on-premises infrastructure from VMware Cloud. If we check active users under the identity and access management, we can see that the VI admin is an active user in this org and has been granted both the owner and the member organizational roles. In addition to a service role for the vSphere Plus service as a cloud administrator, this will allow the VI admin to launch and interact with the service. We will launch the vSphere Plus service, which takes us to the VMware Cloud Console. vSphere Plus delivers benefits of the cloud to on-premises workloads where it enhances the overall operational efficiency by centralizing management and governance of your vSphere-based infrastructure through the VMware Cloud Console. It also simplifies vCenter lifecycle management through a cloud-enabled automation and promptly remediate any configuration drifts, as well as easily monitor the global inventory alert status, and analyze the overall security posture to prioritize issues that require your immediate attention. To add a vCenter on-premises deployment to VMware Cloud Console, we can click on the inventory item and then clicking Add Deployment and selecting On-Premises Deployments. To connect on-premises deployment to VMware Cloud, we need first to download and install the VMware Cloud Gateway and use it to connect your vCenter servers or VCF VMware Cloud Foundation instances to VMware Cloud to start using the capabilities of vSphere Plus and VCF Plus. Clicking on Download Cloud Gateway takes us to the Customer Connect page where you can log in and download the VMware vCenter Cloud Gateway ISO image for vSphere Plus and VCF Plus. Once the ISO is downloaded and mounted, we can launch either the UI installer or the CLI installers and start deploying the VMware Cloud Gateway, which will serve as a gateway between your on-premises vCenter servers and VMware Cloud, allowing you to leverage several VMware Cloud capabilities, such as the developer experience. Make sure to check the vCenter Cloud Gateway requirements in the documentation to ensure a successful installation. For this demo, we will be using the UI installer for Windows. Let's go ahead and first deploy the Cloud Gateway using the UI installer against our vCenter by clicking Deploy VMware Cloud Gateway. Accept the end user license agreement and click Next. Provide the IP address of the vCenter server and its credentials to access where we want to deploy the vCenter Cloud Gateway. Accept the certificate of the vCenter and select a data center or a VM folder where you want to deploy the vCenter Cloud Gateway. Select the cluster or ESXi host to deploy the vCenter Cloud Gateway and click Next. Here we will be deploying the appliance to the traditional management cluster. Provide a VM name and set the appliance root password. Select the storage location for the appliance and click Next. And configure the network settings for the appliance. Here you can choose between DHCP and static IP assignment depending on the network you're attaching the appliance to. 
It's important to note that the vCenter Cloud Gateway appliance have to be able to connect to both the internet and to the workload management supervisor control plane IP address. Next, configure your NTP servers to synchronize time, otherwise the installation may not complete successfully. And finally, click Finish. Once the vCenter Cloud Gateway is deployed in your on-premises environment, click Launch to access the vMore Cloud Gateway welcome page and click Get Started to connect your on-premise vCenter server to vMore Cloud. As a first step, we will need to connect Cloud Gateway to the vMore Cloud organization to enable communication. Please note that you have to be the owner of the organization to be able to do that. Let's go ahead and click Connect. Sign in with your vCenter Cloud Gateway root credentials that you configured in the deployment step. We'll need to complete all the connectivity tests successfully before we can continue. The connectivity test will help us identify any connectivity issues between the Cloud Gateway and the VMware Cloud Services. Now that all the connectivity tests were successful, we will hit next to continue. Copy the one-time registration code generated by the Cloud Gateway appliance and launch into the VMware Cloud Console. Select the organization in VMware Cloud to which you want to connect vCenter Cloud Gateway and click Confirm Connection. Enter the identification code generated by the vCenter Cloud Gateway in the previous step and click Submit. Here we will be installing all the required agents and services in the form of Docker containers running on the vCenter Cloud Gateway appliance. These services will enable communication between the Cloud Gateway and your VMware Cloud organization. Now that step one is completed, it's time to connect vCenter server or your VCF instance to the vCenter Cloud Gateway. Since we are onboarding a vCenter, we will click on connect and select the vCenter you're onboarding. Click add vCenter server and provide the details of the vCenter you're onboarding, including the administrator credentials. Click Add vCenter Server. Accept the security certificate for the vCenter you're adding by clicking Connect. You can add up to eight vCenter servers instances on each vCenter Cloud Gateway instance. Make sure to check the vCenter Cloud Gateway requirements in the documentation to ensure you have the correct hardware requirements as you may need to resize the virtual CPU and memory configuration of the Cloud Gateway virtual machine. Click Next to connect vCenter Server to VMware Cloud. Check the box to acknowledge that the selected vCenter server will start sending the required data to VMware Cloud. Once the vCenter is connected to VMware Cloud successfully, we can launch back into the VMware Cloud console. Now, if we click back on Inventory menu item, we can see that our vCenter deployment is now connected. To unlock all the vSphere Plus capabilities, including the developer experience service activation, we will need first to add our vCenter deployment to the subscription. Click subscribe and select the eligible vCenter servers that you want to subscribe to vSphere Plus and click subscribe. Once the subscription is complete, hit Refresh Now to refresh the page to update the displayed data. Now we can click View Details on our deployment and click on the Integrated Services tab to see now that we have access to the Developer Experience Service that we will be activating next. That's it for this video. 
We will see you in the next one, and thank you for watching.